They're playing with his nipples a little bit. He seems to be enjoying... Oh, no, no, no! Ah! Well, hello there, and welcome back to YouTube.com slash Bragging Hall Guitar. <laughs> yeah? It's what? It's Halloween. Really? Oh, I guess I better sort a costume out. Ah, oh, there we go. Something a bit more festive. So seeing as Halloween is fast approaching, I thought it would be cool to do a little top 10 most disturbing music videos ever! There's a few other videos online that have done this, but I checked them out and, you know, their picks didn't really hit the mark. Like, none of the videos were really that disturbing. So I asked a few friends of mine to scour the internet for the genuinely most disturbing, goriest, Top metal music videos that are out there. So I now have a comprehensive list of the 10 most disturbing metal music videos ever in ascending order from disturbing all the way up to really, really disturbing. So I'm going to sit through each and every one of them and give you my opinion of them and give them like a, a little rating at the end and see, see if I can make it all the way through mentally unscathed. But before that, I'd like to take a quick moment of your time to talk about the sponsor of today's video. So it's no secret that I happen to have a lot of hair. And being a rock-oriented YouTube channel, I'm assuming that many of you do as well. Unfortunately, it's a fact of life that one day, your luscious locks will just yeet themselves out of existence. To be honest though, most people look pretty good without hair. Long locks definitely don't suit everybody. But if you do love your mop and are showing early signs of hair loss, then Roman are here to help. Roman makes it super easy to treat hair loss with a range of prescription and over-the-counter products to help you feel more comfortable from the top down. With clinically proven treatments that have an 83% success rate among their customers, Roman products can help to maintain your hair during the early stages of pattern balding and even regrow hair in some cases. The whole process is super discreet with both prescription and over-the-counter options available, as well as fast, free shipping, so you can get started on your battle against balding as soon as possible. So if that does sound like something you'd be interested in, then please do feel free to check out row.co slash haul. And if approved, you'll get $15 off your first shipment plus free two-day shipping. Thanks very much for listening, guys. Now on with the video. Right, first up on our list of most disturbing metal music videos ever, we have Durin Gray with uh, Obscure. So this is supposedly the least disturbing on the list, so uh, I'm not expecting anything too spicy. Let's have a look! Oh man, there's so few pixels. I can barely see anything. <laughs> Nothing too disturbing so far, just a load of random, flashing, quirky images. You've got some dismembered heads, uh, spewing goo out. Is that it? Okay, and a giant robotic prosthetic penis. It's uh, very Japanese. Got some bodies hanging around from the ceiling. I guess that's kind of disturbing. Oh, there's that prosthetic penis again. That's nice. But yeah, nothing that I would deem as too disturbing so far. The song is nuts. Pretty cool. You know, I've seen this video on a lot of uh, top 10 most disturbing videos lists, but I don't really see why so far. Uh, this guy is taking his heart out. But like, the, uh, the effects aren't very good, so it's... I don't know. Not really that convincing. I mean, it's a super, like, quirky video, but I wouldn't call it disturbing. I've got to say I'm a little disappointed with that one. Wasn't disturbing at all. Does, does not live up to the hype, but cool song, though. Enjoyed it. Right, so next up we have Cradle of Filth with Cradle to Enslave. Uh, this is the only video on the list, I think, that I've seen all the way through. So I know what to expect. It's uh, moderately disturbing, but not too much so. Danny looks like such a gremlin in this video. <laughs> I love the really, like, schlocky, naff B-movie aesthetics in this video. It's super cool. Nothing too disturbing so far. Pretty straightforward stuff. Oh, there's some boobies. Oh, there's a vagina. Didn't look like he enjoyed that too much. Uh, so in this scene, there's just a bunch of people like uh, razor blading their wrists into a bathtub. And it doesn't look very convincing. <laughs> it's very silly. <laughs> Lots of blood, as to be expected. Uh, all right, he's having his tooth taken out. That's kind of gross. 
what's happening here. All right, she's getting stabbed. Ah, she's getting her head cut off. How lovely. But still, the most disturbing thing about this video by far is Danny's exposed nipples on his uh, shirt thing there. Oh, okay. So she just took his heart out and fed it to him in his mouth. It's pretty impressive I managed to fit like a whole heart right into his mouth. I don't think I could do that. Well, and that's it. Cradle of Filth, Cradle to Enslave. You know, a bit of a step up from the last video, but still, you know, not too disturbing. But very fun. Very fun. Right, next up we have Stormlord with Under the Boards. I don't know anything about the song or video, so it's going to be a complete surprise. Looking forward to this. Let's go. Straight in with the blast beats. Nice, some sort of old school symphonic black metal. Pretty sort of like amateur, low budget sort of production by the looks of it, which is fine. Doesn't always mean bad. Still nothing really happening yet. Oh, what's gonna happen? Be careful, lady. It's a pretty children the bottom style keys there. I like that. <laughs> oh no, those zooms. So presumably, she's been kidnapped by this guy. She's having a look around and seeing all of the mangled corpses and skulls on the walls and stuff. Oh, we just grabbed a tool. What's gonna happen now? Uh oh. Oh, uh, she's going for the eye. No, don't do that. No, no. No. Ah. 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 Okay, that was actually a pretty good effect. Oh, and now he's, he's cutting her head off. And I think he's enjoying that a little bit too much, I think. Well, there's a guy with his guts hanging out. All right, she managed to escape. Is she going to go? Ah. Ah. There's another eye coming out. That was unexpected. We've got our antagonist here putting some body parts into bags. Maybe for his lunch tomorrow. Oh, he's heard her. Uh-oh. <laughs> that shot was pretty funny. Oh, no. He found her and he injected her with something. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely a step up from the last two. But still, you know, not too disturbing. Just a little bit grotesque. Did make me wince a couple of times with the eye stuff. I just, I don't like eye stuff. Please no more eye stuff. Right, on to number four. And I'm really hoping that the disturbingness and the grotesqueness uh, picks up a little now. We have Necrophagia with Blood Freak. Nice. I couldn't find this video on YouTube or Vimeo, so I had to like find it off some like obscure Russian website. I don't know why it was so hard to find. Hopefully that's a good sign that it's super disturbing. We'll see. Okay, don't really know what's going on so far. You've got the band playing in a steamy room and some big old skinhead guy. Alright, our skinhead man's getting intoxicated. I wonder what shenanigans will ensue. Oh, that's a sick riff. What the fuck? What's that? What's he doing? So our skinhead guy just like swallowed some pills and there was loads of like white shit in his mouth. I uh, don't no, know no, no, what that was. And now he's like, uh, cut his forehead and he's bleeding a lot. <laughs> it's a nice romantic couple here. Dad? Oh, that's not a father and daughter, is it? What? What the fuck is going on? I have no idea. I'm really confused. <laughs> what is he doing? All right, so he's approaching the couple with a gun and a knife, is that? <laughs> oh, this is terrible. <laughs> oh my god, man, the way he just, like, psyched them out. Amazing. 10 out of 10 acting. And now he's- Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Don't do that! No! He's got the corpse of the female, and he's digging a hole. Oh, no! No! Oh, he's unzipping his trousers. Don't do that. Oh! No! No! Stop it, dude! He's fiddling with himself while looking at the corpse, and, and now... Ah! Oh, uh, I don't even want to describe what's going on there. That's rough, man. Holy shit. I was on board for, like, most of that right until the end. It was it was pretty, pretty palatable. The song was pretty sick. I liked the really sort of, like, rough Cannibal Holocaust-style, like, B-movie handheld video aesthetics. That was cool. But, man, that's shit at the end. That was so unnecessary. So, after that lovely little endeavor, we have uh, Nine Inch Nails with uh, Happiness in Slavery. Um, I'm hoping there's no uh, messed up bald men in this video. Alright. Straight in with the intro there, very nice. 
Really love how the sort of, uh, like the setting really matches the sort of industrial sound of the music. Very cool. Couldn't find this video on YouTube either, so uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, he's getting completely butt naked. Where is this going? All right, that's a penis. All right, he's climbing onto some sort of apparatus. Oh God, what's he doing? Oh jeez, okay. All right, he's locked himself into some sort of apparatus. Ah! ah! All right, some like uh, sharp cables have been like inserted into his hands. Now there's some grabby hand thing come out of the chair. What's it doing? No, they're playing with his nipples a little bit. He seems to be enjoying- Ah! Oh, no, no, no! 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 Oh, yeah. All right, so there's some sort of like grabby hand thing, mechanical arm. It's come out the chair and it's just like pinching him everywhere. And now it's like impaling him. And now there's a drill come out and it's, uh, it's, it's drilling him. Because that's what drills do. They drill stuff. And he seems to be enjoying that actually a hell of a lot. Man has some exotic tastes. Oh! What the fuck is that? Some sort of like circular saw thing that seems to be... Oh! Oh! What the f man? Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> no! Some like giant fly swatter thing just like fucking slapped his balls. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Ah! Alright, and then like the, the apparatus sort of like shut and it's just like minced his body into like giblets and it's all just like pouring out the... some shoot out the back of the table. Now Trent Rez is just uh... Casually walked in the room like uh, the saw guy. Mixed feelings about that one. That was uh, definitely a step up from the rest of them. But despite all that, it was a really cool video, actually. Super well shot. The aesthetics were good. The, it was, I guess, well acted. Uh, so what's concerning me is that was already pretty intense of a video. And we still have five more to get through, which is supposedly even worse than that. So God only knows what we have in store for us still. And next up we have Whitechapel with Let Me Burn. The mouth of hell is open wide tonight. Nice. It's your textbook deathcore intro there with uh, some shouty man. And some big, big chonky chunk. Some sort of patient waking up. In what looks like a hospital gown. Can't really see what's going on though. Camera works too like choppy. What's that? All right. Just knocked out a tooth for some reason. Oh, it's a drill. I oh, don't know. Do that. No. Ah. Oh. All right. He just drilled into the front of his head for some reason. Oh. What's that? That's a, that's a saw. What's happening? Ah. Oh. Cutting the head off. Appears to be cutting the head off. How how nice. I'm really, really glad he's doing that. But like the camera works so choppy. I don't know. It's not really that disturbing because you can't properly see what's going on. There's lots of close-up shots of miscellaneous gore. All right, the head has been separated from the body. Oh, he's pouring some oil or gasoline on him. Oh, he's going to light himself on fire. He's asking for a, a mercy killing, I think, off the woman. Okay. Oh, I see, because the song's called Let Me Burn, and he's burning himself at the end. Uh, I don't know, wasn't too impressed with that one. The camera work was really jarring. Couldn't see what was going on. It was kind of, like, gory and a bit disturbing, I guess, but uh, not impressed with that one. Moving on. All right, now we have, uh, I don't know how you say it, Cephalic Carnage with Old Worm. Uh, I know of this video. I've not seen it all the way through, but I know of its notoriety... So I know we're in for a treat with this one. Let's have a look. Poor is the man whose pleasures depend on the permission of another. Whoa. It's a bit intense. Calm down. Mm. <clears throat> Very arty. The production value on this one looks uh, pretty good. Like, a lot better than the rest of the ones we've seen. So, this uh, appears to be a maggot. Okay, they're getting uh, down and dirty. Nothing disturbing yet, just lots of softcore imagery. Now oh, they're rubbing blood on each other's leg. That's nice. They basically, they're still going at it, but they're all covered in like lots of blood now and there's maggots everywhere. Oh, he's got some cuts on it. All right, he's like starting to decompose or something, but they're still going, doesn't stop them. 
some persistence. So I think what's happening is they're sort of like decomposing or like rotting as they're making love. Is this band French? Like this all seems very French. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, so... <laughs> what the f this guy has like all of his organs falling out and he's sort of like frantically trying to stuff them back in. Oh. So yeah, he very much failed at trying to put his organs back in. Oh no, what's that? Oh no! No! Oh! Oh, okay, that last bit was grim. Uh, basically, like uh, a little maggot started to cr crawl out of his uh, his pee pee, and then it just exploded. Uh, all right, yeah, that one was pretty rough. But the uh, the effects on that, like, holy shit, definitely loads better than. Uh, you don't want to know what just happened there. There's still three videos left, man. Uh, what the fuck? How can you get more grotesque and disturbing than that? Whatever. So, job for a cowboy, tarnished gluttony. Next. Found this video on YouTube, so it can't be that bad, right? So done with this shit, man. Please no more <laughs> exploding penises. Appears to be a man carrying a young child over his shoulder. He's looking very suspicious and shifty, this fellow. Looking over his shoulder a lot. Kind of intrigued where this is going to lead. Very mysterious. Grand finale with whatever is leading up. Oh, what's that? Is that like an octopus or something? Or a squid? I'm not really sure what the difference is, actually. You know what? I don't think I'd know how to differentiate it between an octopus and a squid. It's kind of worrying. What's going on? Little Timmy. Why does a little Timmy wake up? Come on! Timmy! Oh no, the kid moved! He's alive! Wait, what? No. Oh no! Oh! Ah! No! Oh my god, man. What the Oh, you What the f Oh, it's f gross, man. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, what the f***, man? All right, so he's putting the octopus or squid into the child's abdomen after removing all of his innards, okay? As you do. They have appeared at some large expanse of water. I don't know, what was going on? Was this some sort of, like, ritual or something or what? I guess that's something to do with, like, the, the octopus he put in him, right? It's like trying to appease the sea or something. <laughs> Eight minutes of like nothing and then randomly mutilating a kid and putting a squid inside of <laughs> Very pretentious. Nice, that's really, it's really set me up in a, a good mood for the rest of the day. Thanks, Job for a Cowboy, appreciate it. Right, only two videos left, thank God for that. What's, uh, what's next? Uh, dying fetus, die with integrity. I feel like I'm completely desensitized to Anything you could throw at me now, so whatever. <laughs> Let's just watch it. Oh, that's encouraging. Now we're we gonna see some sort of like revenge flick here. All right, so I guess this guy's woken up in this room, uh, and he wants revenge, I suppose. He shot some old guy. Now he's beating him up, putting on his face, stabbing him. Lots of blood, so now he's got a shovel. Okay, he cut off his head with the shovel. All right, our revenge man has walked in the room, it seems. He's got a gun. All right, they're stabbing each other. This guy looks a bit like Simon Pegg. <laughs> like with that Whitechapel video earlier, it's kind of hard to see what's going on because the camera work's so choppy. It's, it's just lots of quick shots of people hacking at each other. <laughs> and more heads being ripped off. Oh. Oh, some woman was like shoving some wooden stick up some other woman's snatch. Oh. A hero seems to have infiltrated the room where all these shenanigans are happening now. Bashing some bloke's head in with a block of concrete. Picked up a gun. She's showing him a decapitated head. I guess he knows this person. He's beating up uh, the bad lady. It's very violent. Holy shit. It was alright, I guess. Don't really understand what was going on. Yeah, I think it might be the same director as the Whitechapel video. Uh, the camera work and the visuals were very similar. 
just can't really see what's happened. It's lots of like, whoa, 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 whoa. I wouldn't say it was as disturbing as the last couple we've seen, but uh, it was still extremely gory and violent. I'll give it that. And alas, finally, we come to the end of this horrendous, depraved list uh, with, of course, cattle decapitations, forced gender reassignment. I've seen bits of this video, so I know what to expect. I'm well aware of the reputation surrounding this video, so I hope it doesn't disappoint. I want... I want to be truly, truly disturbed to the <laughs> core of my very being. So it appears to be some sort of protest against uh, homosexuals. Oh, I think they're meant to be like those, uh, those super hardcore Bible people in America. I can't remember what they're called. So it appears like somebody's like infiltrated one of their protests and they've... Yeah, and they've like kidnapped a couple of the protesters or something. And he appears to have stripped these protesters down naked and he's tied them up. Giving them a little shave, that's nice of him. Ah. Oh no. Oh. Now what's he doing? What's he wearing? The f***? Oh. What's that? Oh, it's a tampon. Oh no! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Appears to have uh, made an incision in the fellow's genitals. So I'm assuming, like, what's happening is literally what the song's about. Giving a sex change to them, I guess. Oh, it's so gross, man. You can't really see what's going on properly, but it's like, <laughs> you can see enough. Not really sure what's happening now. He still seems to be operating on this unfortunate chap. Soon not to be a chap anymore. <laughs> I think he just, like, stapled the guy's genitals onto the woman or something? I'm not really sure. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't do that. No! Oh, that's so horrible. No, he's basically just got like a massive drill with a, uh, with a sex toy on the end. And he's, uh, he's, he's put it up the, put it up the guy. And you can see it tear up all of his insides. That's, that's nice. <laughs> oh, what? They survived. And they, what? There's no way you would survive that. Bullshit, man. Yeah, no wonder they're walking funny. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Thank you very much for sticking with me until the end of this video. Um, after watching all of these abhorrent creations, I've realized that <laughs> this YouTube video will probably just be like 90% blurred out. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that, but like, there's no way I can show the majority of what's happening in these videos. I was gonna have some lunch after recording this, but you know what? I'm not too hungry now. You know, I think I'll probably wait until, uh, till this evening. Um, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment saying, well, what do you think is the most disturbing music video ever? See you later. Happy Halloween. Yeah.